I thought you didn't go to show up. No, yeah, and I came so in my fucking, I, yeah, I did my running from the, well, I did my walking from outside. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, that's funny to see what I'm doing. Uh, it's funny you just mentioned that. I noticed in red, you usually do run-ins and don't wrestle. Why is that? Because I'm, well, because of my, it, here, you want to look at it. You want to look how big this knee is twice the size oh, of this shit. knee. You know what I mean? Fucking, I broke 20 some, 22, 23 bones in my, you know, broken my neck, my fucking back, this, this, this twice, my foot, fucking this knee operated on, multiple fingers, five ribs, you know what I mean? A lot of fucking injuries. I'm not working. No, if I, put it this way, if, I, if, if, if it was Vince, it's a different story. You know what I'm saying? But, but for the money that you're going to pay me, that, that's what you're getting. Yeah, yeah. It's, that I'm not, well, I'm not working. You know, that, it's not worth it to me at that point. I got you. you know what I mean? Have you owned a successful construction company based out of Salt Lake, Utah since 1994? Yeah, well, uh, 96. Yeah. 96 and then it's sold. Oh, you don't own it no more? No, no, no. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I thought you still owned it. Yeah, me and I do. Yeah, me and, yeah, me and a partner. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you don't own anything else other than doing wrestling? Besides the house, I mean business, <laughs> business-wise. Uh, no, yeah, landscaping, landscaping, uh, business for uh, for my, my two boys, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I pared down, man. I used to be real busy doing a lot of That's shit. That's good, man. You it's, know, it's, it's, uh, the reason why I say that I mentioned this is because one would look at you and wouldn't even imagine, you know? What? <laughs> yeah, oh, well, yeah, the fucking people are idiots. Yeah, you know, and even me, you know? I, I was surprised, honestly, when you said you retired, you had the house, and then I came, I seen your area, I'm like, wow, yeah, this is nice, place, man. Boy. It's fucking it's nice, man. Yeah, man. That That's good, man. That's good, you do good for yourself. You've done good for yourself, you know? Whatever, yeah, whatever you did. a lot of fucking wrestlers, man. When you make the money, you gotta fucking do the right things with it, because, yeah. man, but you know, especially how, how the, the, like, I'll give you a perfect example. Fucking look at this is what Vince has done since, like, after all the ECW guys were gone, like we we're saying, but he's got he's got his super. There's no middle class for Vince anymore. His fucking shit. It's he's got his big guys that make money and fucking, and he's got uh, all these new the, the younger new guys that you see that are champions and shit now. Those guys, he ain't pay, I guarantee he ain't paying those guys anywhere near what they should be making. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's no middle class even for Vince. What was your original question? I'm making on middle class. Sir. What did your original question? basically saying, you know, that you did good for yourself. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but there, you know, it could be, or your career could be, you know, over like that. But you got to understand, I was, fuck, I, I was, I was making a hundred thousand dollars a year yeah. when I started professional wrestling. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was making, I was making a hundred grand back in, back in 1989. Yeah. You know, so I always knew how to make money. But in fact, the only years that I ever really made more money in wrestling than outside of wrestling were those years that I told you about. When I was getting double paid by WCW and ECW, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But besides that, I was I, I had other ways to make money, you know? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, um, like I was saying, you know, I don't want to offend you, but it's just going by what, what, what I've seen. A lot of guys are broke, you know? And not only that, you know, sometimes you look at you and you can't tell that you got, you know, that you cannot tell. Yo, you look you know? at Mick Foley and I know he's exactly. fucking that guy's rich shit. Exactly. Man, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody always, and Mick, he don't spend a dime either. He was notoriously cheap. I mean, I don't really know him that good. I mean, you know, from, I've worked with him, me and him, whatever friends, like, hung out. Yeah. We never really hung out together outside of this. this. Anyway, um, I read you no show in Impact taping and never were heard of again. Is that true? What's Impact? TNA. Oh, fuck it. No, this was... Um, Terry Taylor, fuck, tell me and Terry Taylor never got along. Fucking, he knew I was going on vacation. He knows I do not email. Terry's only get only ever gotten a hold of me for, um, by, by texting. So that day, I told him, they know I'm going to fall. I was in Florida. I, I was dry. I had to, uh, so, to get a story. So he calls me and fucking, I'm on vacation for two weeks down in the Keys. And he calls me, he's like, yo, Hat, why didn't you get you on your plane in Philly today? I said, Terry, I told you fucking two weeks ago that fucking I was going to be on vacation. He goes, well, I sent you an email. I said, Terry, no, you didn't. I said, I said, Terry, what's my email? He goes, oh, yeah, I have it right here. He goes, no, I don't have your email. He goes, no, I don't have your email. I said, yeah, because you've only ever gotten a hold of me by text. So I jump in my car and fucking fly. I got my three-year-old with me. I have my three-year-old boy with me, I have my other son with me, my 12-year-old out there, and a friend of mine, 
I'm trying to get out of the Keys, 100 miles. I missed my plane by like 15 minutes in Miami. And fucking, I, and then I, and then I, and, and they had me on the right, they had me opening the show. It was, and Rhino took my place. They were going to have me opening the show and, and do a job for Abyss anyway. So it was really, I knew, see, I knew, I saw, like, like a lot of the guys didn't see how that, that was going to go there. You know what I mean? But, um, but it, it was going to, you know, I wasn't going to, and they fucked with Dreamer too. You know what I mean? They because they didn't tell Dreamer. Well, it's a reason why. If you really want to know the reason why the Dudleys left there for a, for a little, they left there for a month or so. It was over that ECW thing. And what happened? Because because they dropped us out. They beat the fuck out of us and never let us come back. They put us with Dixie all of a sudden, the owner, and then that's how they take control of the company so the by jobbing us. So the they, the Dreamer didn't know that was happening. Fucking that, and then when the Dudleys found, then the, they didn't even tell the Dudleys it was going to happen. As soon as they found out. That's why they said they were leaving, then all of a sudden the ECW shit's gone. Oh, the Dudleys are back working for him again. That's what happened there. All right, we're going to take a little break and come yeah. back in part two. Yeah. No kayfading.com. Yo, idiots. I think it's a good No kayfading.com part two. Sandman. All right. We were talking about TNA when we stopped, so I want to know your thoughts on the company in a whole. What, TNA? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I can't understand that company. Her dad's just making so much. What's her name's dad? Uh, I mean, the company makes no money. Their ratings are the, the drizzly shits. They're paying a lot of people a lot of cash. And I guess it's just to make her happy. Daddy's making her happy. Because you know, dad's for this paying the energy. And energy prices are up like 25, 30% in the last like three, four years. So, you know, I, maybe maybe it's there to lose money or something, but it doesn't make any sense financially, I'm sure. They, they can't be making a dime. I mean, the ratings are but like ones, aren't they? Less than ones. Yeah, yeah, ones. Did he, get, did he, get, did he even get a one? Yeah, one, one, one. Yeah, that's, for, yeah, that's why. Yeah, how can you make money doing that? I mean, they don't have the payroll the Vince has, but still. Yeah. Yeah. Her father is a no, but they got a good deal though too. Well, like you know, with Disney, I'm sure they don't pay shit for that bill. Maybe Disney even pays that. Who knows? You know what I mean? Her father's a billionaire. You don't know? I, yeah, I just know he's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, back to. But you. sometimes when you're making that money, you need some businesses that don't make money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just a big tax thing for him or something. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe she loves it. Well, if I had that kind of money, you know, well, she loves it. Yeah, well, like my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I can understand his position. Totally. So if she loves it, then you know he's helping her. Right, and like because uh, like, I was just thinking in my head, my daughter, you know, paid for her to go to Johnson and Wales, freaking uh, culinary school. She stayed there like a week. Came home, cried. Yeah. Don't want to be there. Went another college out somewhere else. Was going two weeks. Missed her boyfriend home. You know what I mean? It's just you do she does you, say she your kids, passion. man. You just fucking do it for your kids, man. It doesn't she, matter. She says she has passion, so if she loves it, then that's a father, you know. You know what I mean? That's what I would think. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Um, back to your construction business. How did that come about? I was always doing construction. That's what I was. I could fucking, uh, I, could, when I was 14 years old. I was running a roofing crew. Freaking. Um, and instead of going to early school, I was running, I was running 45 year old drunks. Fuck, it's new roofers and notorious drunks. But yeah, fuck, I was always in construction. So what you started doing, just taking contracts? My buddy, actually, it wasn't even my idea. I was actually wrestling in, well, me, uh, um, I was wrestling in Japan, and one of my buddy, and one of my buddies called me, a guy that we worked, you know, one of my best friends in the world, um, and he goes, listen, he goes, Salt Lake City just got the Olympic bid. For uh, for the 2002 games, and this was '96. He's like, let's go start a concrete company there. I said, as soon as I get home, I said, bet. We were out there maybe in like two, three months. So I didn't. It wasn't my idea to go out there. That was all his idea. You know what I mean? I was just like, all right, I'm, 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 let's do it. How did you it worked out great. Just, how did you go out there and just start it like that? How, how well, because we'd all do, we, me and him, had worked for two. For, we had made some other brothers rich when we were younger. 